What's going on guys? So I am here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I'm going to show you this 2019 Flagstaff E-Pro. These are super cool little travel trailers, and I think you're going to like it. Be right back. I really like the look of these Flagstaff E-Pros. They're very compact, easy to pull, don't have any slide outs, pretty simple, but yet they're really well equipped and they look great from the outside. They equip them with some pretty aggressive tires. Now these are pretty much cosmetic only, but they really do add to the custom exterior rugged look of the coach. Now what's unique about this coach from a suspension perspective is that they equip it with what's called a Tor Flex suspension system, which is essentially a torsion flex system instead of your traditional leaf springs. It's very similar to what comes on the R-Pod, very low maintenance, reliable, easy to maintain. Now looking at the numbers, this trailer has a 732 pound cargo capacity, it has a 3,890 pound gross trailer weight rating with a 3,500 pound rated axle. In my opinion, this trailer would be very easy to tow by pretty much any half-ton truck, even some larger SUVs or even some mid-size SUVs. This would also be kind of the ideal size trailer for a Canyon, a Colorado, or a Ranger if you get it properly equipped. Now don't ask me what happened to the propane tank and why there's one missing. I'm guessing that they probably fell off during transportation, rolled around quite a bit, and really got beaten to hell. I don't know why there's not a power tongue jack either. I'm pretty sure this unit comes with it, but they probably put this on because something had happened to it. I don't see any other damage, so I don't think that the trailer or the tongue actually hit the ground. And just like the last E-Pro that I reviewed, you'll see that it comes with the jacket bicycle rack on the front, so you can actually mount some bicycles to it above the hitch and out of the way whenever you're going to be towing. That's really nice, and it's great to see that they're including them on this. This is actually the exact same type of system that I put on the R-Pod for a buddy of mine not too long ago if you watched that video. Really cool. He absolutely loves it, and he's able to take his bikes with him anytime he goes out now. Now this E-Pro is a little narrower than your typical RV and they put these really nice fender flares over the tires to protect the side. This one also comes equipped with the Moride Step Above system which is really nice and it doesn't swing out too far. It's really compact and it's a two-step system. You can see it has LED lighting in the back, it has a ladder up to the top, it has a full radius ceiling which is kind of rare in a small unit like this. Plus it has a huge awning on the side that pretty much extends all the way from the back to the front except for just a few small areas. Coming around to the other side, you have your standard scissor style leveling jacks, you have your dump areas, you have your power connections as well as your fill station and your tank flush area right here. Now this E-Pro is going to come equipped with frameless style windows. I personally wish it had the standard window simply because on something this small you kind of want to maximize your airflow. Frameless windows look a lot nicer, but again, I kind of would prefer airflow. Love the keyless entry, let's go up into this coach and take a look at it. Now going into this coach is super cool. So you have a dinette here, there's no slides, so you're gonna have to deal with a little bit of a narrow path through here. But you have a Murphy bed on this side, nice sofa here, and a lot of people are looking for coaches that are more compact and don't necessarily have a lot of slides. This one is really cool. The cabinetry, everything looks really nice. It doesn't have that cheap feeling to it. It definitely feels as if you're getting a well-equipped travel trailer. Moving forward, you see you have your TV already mounted right here. You have your Go Power Solar controller here already, which means that there's solar on this unit. Microwave, refrigerator, and it's a pretty good size refrigerator considering how small this specific RV is. Very nice size stove cooktop. This is really nice. Typically, this is going to be a super compact setup here, and because it takes up a lot of your counter space, they give you this flip up little counter at the end, which is really nice as well. Overall, there's a fair amount of room in here. It does not feel overly crowded. This feels like something that you could definitely spend some time in, especially with the really nice light toned colors. Everything just feels very open and airy. I would have liked to see perhaps a larger window here and maybe a larger window directly across from it, but this isn't too bad. Now stepping into the restroom, it has a pretty decent sized shower. Now this is lifted up or elevated about seven inches. So when you get into it, you're not gonna have a tremendous amount of room. In my case, my head is going into the skylight. This is a very, very low profile shower. But what's nice though, is that you actually have a full size shower in terms of your overall arm room in this unit. You're gonna have to duck down a little bit. You'll have to take advantage of the little sprayer hose here to probably completely take a shower, but 
it's nice to know that you actually have a shower unit. Here's your compact vanity area, toilet, a lot of storage. So you have a good size storage here, plus you have a fantastic fan above, which is also very nice. Typically the bathroom is an area where they really cut corners when it comes to your ventilation. It looks like a porcelain toilet, but it is a plastic toilet. This would have enough room to sleep, I would say three people. So, you know, you could probably fit two real small kids here, but this is really designed for one person. And then when this folds down, that's gonna be roughly a queen size bed, so you'll have two people here but it's not necessarily designed to sleep any more than that. Your direct fire air conditioning is up here. It's not ducted and it's gonna be a 13,500 BTU unit, but it is a pretty good sized unit for this size of coach. Again, it's a pretty nice interior. I actually really like this. Real quick, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this has a cellular Wi-Fi booster on top as well. Give you a little bit better coverage if you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You can see that the sidewalls on this unit are constructed out of Asdel. What's really nice is that they give you some solar panels that you can plug into this coach from the outside to charge your batteries or to power lower wattage items. Yeah guys, this is a really cool unit. I'll get the pricing off of the website so you guys know how much this unit runs. This is really awesome, especially for not having any slides, more aggressive tires, really nice torque flex suspension system on it. Has a lot of good upgrades. This is definitely something that if you're looking for a smaller, more compact unit, something that can easily be towed behind a smaller vehicle, this is definitely what you might want to look at. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again very soon.